Hey guys, I am Vikash for Skyline Motions and in this tutorial, let's create this awesome looking typographic animation inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. So without any further ado, let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so let's do some basic setting first. So click on this setting button and set the size of this project 1920 by 1080 and let's go with 30 or 60 frame per second. So I'm gonna go with 60 frame per second and uh, set this uh, playback frame rate 60 and click on save. And now I'm gonna create this uh, motion graphics inside of this uh, fusion page. So we have to take a new fusion composition. So just go to this uh, media pool right click on that and click on new fusion composition and uh, let's call it fusion comp and uh, set this frame rate 60 and set this duration something around four second long and click on create and drag this fusion comp on the timeline and then go to your fusion page and here we get media out so just drag this media out to the side for now and click on this BZ button and add a background node and just drag this background to the viewer and uh, let's create a gradient background so just go to this inspector window and just change this type solid color to gradient and uh, let's create a nice gradient color so pick this point and pick any color that you want And just set this uh, gradient point over here and set this gradient point in this corner and just set this uh, start x value 0 hit enter and set this a start y value 0 and set this end x 1 hit enter and set this uh, y 1 and hit enter and as you can see we have a nice gradient background and now select this background hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and let's call it background hit ok and now let's create a text so click on this t button and add a text node hit f2 on the keyboard and let's call it text hit ok and drag this text to the viewer and let's type over here whatever you want to type and in this case i'm using go bold font style and I will provide a link in the description for this. So go to the link and download this Go Bold font style if you want and set it to regular and just set the size of this text something around 0.38. And uh, now let's merge this text with the background. So connect the output of this uh, foreground with the background and we get this new merge and just drag this merge one to the viewer. And as you can see, it's looking like this and then right click on this uh, preview window and go to guide and turn on this uh, guide for a reference and select this text and just set it in center so just set it over here in center and click on fit button all right and now let's animate the text so i'm going to animate the opacity of the text character wise so select this text and let's add a modifier so right click on this uh, styled text and add a follower modifier and then go to your modifier tab and just go to this setting tab and here is our opacity so let's animate this opacity so just go to on frame number 60 which is equal to one second according to 60 fps and click on this diamond button to create a keyframe on opacity and go to very beginning of this animation and just set this opacity zero and we have something like this as you can see and now i want to create a time delay between these uh, characters so just uh, go to this timing and uh, here is delay so i'm gonna just set this delay value 10 and hit enter and as you can see it's revealing left to right so i'm gonna just change this order random but one by one and then go to the very beginning of this animation and let's play this and it's looking much more better
all right and now just select this text and go to this tools and now let's animate this uh, tracking amount so set it to default and go to the end of this animation and just set this uh, tracking value uh, something around 1.05 hit enter and right click on this tracking click on animate or you can also click on this diamond button to create a keyframe and go to very beginning of this animation and uh, just uh, down this tracking value something around 0.8 and hit enter and let's play this and as you can see we have a very basic and linear animation so let's make a smooth animation so just go to a spline window hit f4 to full screen and for this time check this character spacing only and click on this fit button and select these both keyframes hit s to smooth and just set the cti at very beginning of this animation and hold this point and set this handle like this and create a nice smooth curve and now let's play this all right so it's looking much more better and close this spline window and as you can see we have an animation like this all right and now right click on this flow window and go to arrange tool and check this option to grid and now snap this node on the grid like this and now i'm going to create a shape animation so we have to take a new background node so click on this uh, busy button to add a background and this is going to be a mat so hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and let's call it mat hit enter and just drag this mat to the viewer and uh, pick this uh, white color for now and let's attach an ellipse mask with this so select this mat and click on this ellipse button and hit f2 on the keyboard and let's call it ellipse hit ok and now let's animate the size of this ellipse so as you can see we have to animate width and height together but we don't have to do this because i'm going to parent this width with this height so right click on this width click on this expression and let's pick this pick whip and attach this with height and now we have to animate this uh, height parameter only and width will be automatically updated as you can see all right so just go to the end of this animation and set this height value something around one and hit enter and right click on height click on animate and go to very beginning of this animation and set this height value zero and as you can see we have a very basic and linear animation so let's make a smooth animation so just go to spline window hit f4 to full screen and check this height and click on fit button and uh, uncheck this text for now and click on fit button again and select these both keyframes hit s to smooth and set this cti at very beginning of this animation hold this point and set this handle like this and create a nice smooth curve and close this spline window all right and then go to very beginning of this animation and let's play this again all right so it's looking much more better and now select this ellipse and set the center of this ellipse in this corner over here so just go to this inspector window and uh, set this center x value 1 hit enter and set this center y value 0 and hit enter all right and uh, we get this type of uh, effect and now i want to create a duplicate of this uh, ellipse so just select this and hit ctrl c to copy and paste uh, another copy over here so hit ctrl v to paste hold shift on the keyboard and attach this ellipse over here like this all right and select this uh, second ellipse and just place it in this corner over here so just set this center x value zero hit enter and center y value one and hit enter all right and we get this type of shape animation as you can see 
and now click on this double viewer and just drag this uh, merge one output in this viewer and this mat output in this viewer all right and now i want to place this output inside of this shape animation so we have to take a new merge node so click on this merge button to add a merge node and use this matte output as a background and this merge one output as a foreground so connect this uh, yellow background point with this uh, matte and green foreground point with the output of this merge one and just drag this merge to to the viewer and now just select this merge and go to this uh, inspector window and here is operator so change this over to in and we get this type of uh, effect as you can see all right and now we have two outputs here the first one is looking like this and the second one sorry the second one is looking like this all right and now let's merge both the outputs so we have to take one more merge node and uh, connect this uh, yellow background point with the output of this uh, merge one and connect this green foreground point with the output of this merge two all right and just uh, place it over here and set it like this and just drag this final merge three in this viewer and click on this single viewer all right and now we have to add a drop shadow effect on it so we have to search a drop shadow effect so hold control and space bar for search box and search for drop shadow and click on this add button hit f2 on the keyboard and let's call it shadow hit ok and just attach this shadow after this merge 2 so hold shift and attach this shadow like this all right and now select this shadow and let's do some setting so just go to this inspector window and uh, um, just set this blur value something around one and just set this drop angle zero and it's looking like this and just set this drop distance zero all right and now let's down this uh, shadow strength uh, 0.25 and hit enter all right and it's looking much more better as you can see and our text animation is almost ready for render so connect this output with this media out and then go to your edit tab and now let's do one more thing just go to timeline and go to output blanking and click on this option 2.35 and create a cinematic aspect ratio like this and it's looking much more better all right and now if you want to create multiple text then select this fusion comp and hit ctrl c to copy and just paste it over here by hitting ctrl v and set the cti over here and go to fusion tab again and uh, let's change your text so select this text and type your second text whatever you want to type and uh, let's down the size a bit and set this value something around 0.3 hit enter all right and now you can change the color also so just select this background and change this color all right and then go to your edit tab and repeat the same thing and create multiple text as you want and now just go to very beginning of this animation and click on this loop button and let's play this animation and have a look all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when i will upload my new video and i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye